hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. You know, don't you? You know. Because that's why you've tuned in. Today I'm joined by Stuart, Stuart Curry from Manchester. Is it Salford? It's that's the one, mate. Barton Amateur Boxing Club. Barton Amateur Boxing Club in Salford. That's right. Yeah, we're having to come on come on here and do it on Zoom because it's pandemic and that. But how long have you been in, in boxing industry, Stuart? You're a trainer, aren't you? And you're head trainer at gym, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the head coach at the gym. Uh, I've got another couple of coaches in there with me. Adam Crawford, he's, he's a good lad. He's only 24. He's boxed in the army and whatnot. He's a good lad. Knows his stuff. Uh, I've got another young kid who's just joined us now, Yusuf Ali. He's boxed for the club, so he knows the club inside out. He's been in there about five years now. Yeah. Uh, got two female coaches, Melissa Walton and uh, Christy Gallagher. So I've got a mixture of all sorts, really, Ross, you know. No relation to Joe Gallagher. No, not at all, mate. Not at all. Oh, all right. No, definitely not. No relation to Joe. No, not his daughter or his, or his missus. Then. No, 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 no. She's but both the girls have boxed. They've done a bit of white collar and whatnot. So. Oh, and they've got the coaching badges for amateur. Yeah, well, Christy's just waiting to go on a course as is of Yusuf, but Mel and uh, Adam are proper qualified coaches. Yeah, level ones. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, so no, he's... sorry, Adam's a level two. Melissa's a level one. So you, you've got a good thriving gym going there then, Stuart? Yeah, it's good. I've got about 24 carded kids in there now, Russ. I'm doing really well with it. It's only our second season as well. Yeah. Do you like, know, uh, in, the, in your area, does, is your gym like a sanctuary? Because Salford's got a bit, a bit of a reputation of, I don't know, basically. Basically, if I were walking down your street at night, at midnight, down that area, I didn't know where they were. I've been told that, I'd be stripped naked. <laughs> Is it that bad? Uh, no, it's calmed down quite a bit now, Russ, to be fair. It's not just our gym. There's a few gyms in the area. Uh, I'll name them if you want. Bridgewater, ABC, good gym. Yeah. Salford City Boxing Academy, that's now moved to Partington, M31 Boxing. Gary Booth, he's a good quality trainer. Uh, Echoes Boxing School, it's about 500 yards from ours. Good gym. Yeah. There's quite a few in, in a short, in a short uh, area, you know what I mean, Russ? I've done some filming at Gary Boo's gym when uh, I, I filmed was there. Huey and Peter and Savannah there for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've met that yeah. Gary. He's all right. I think uh, Matt, Tommy, uh, Tom Aspinall trains there, I think, doesn't he? I'm not sure. Yeah, but Gary's, Gary, Gary's a bit like yourself, Russ. He just says it how it is. Yeah, we had a good <laughs> chat. Like we actually got on me and Gary. He's all right, isn't he, Gary? Yeah, he is. He's a good fella, mate. It's good. They're from that old, like, 50-year-old plus, bit like me, Peter Fury. They were, we, we don't listen to all this nonsense, do we? We just tell it straight, don't we? That's it, mate. You know, either gets you somewhere or it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you think about boxing at the moment, Stuart? Eh, you know, it's fucking died off, hasn't it, mate? You know, there's not, there's not a lot we can do. I mean, this time next month, I'd have had my last show last year in February. Not My kids haven't boxed for over 12 months now. Yeah. There's no point trying over spilt milk because everyone's in the same same boat, aren't they? Yeah. So, uh, unless, you, unless you're a pro. I mean, a lot of these young amateurs now, they're turning over pro and they're not even ready for it, Russ. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's a lot of kids turning over now that are rushing into turning over, aren't they? Because they want a box. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've lost a couple of kids out of the gym as well now that just lost interest, Russ, and the good kids, you know what I mean? Um, there's nothing you can do about it, mate. You can't. How can you motivate a kid when you can't spy, you can't do pads? Yeah. If I if I if I was 15, 16 years old turning up at a gym three nights a week just to do a circuit, might as well do that at home. Yeah. What do you think? You know what, I mean? what do you think to uh, the situation with the funding and that? Because there weren't really any funding handed out for anybody, were there? I've seen that Russ online. I thought it was pretty, I thought it was pretty shocking to be fair when Crown Cream Bowling gets gets funding and other other minor sports and boxing, which Probably saved a lot of lives, hasn't it, Russ, over the years? Yeah, it saved my life and, and it saved a lot of people. It saved my mate a few yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. We, so. You have to do what you see. You can't go down that criminal path because when you do no, that, you don't want to go to work and, and it becomes an yeah. everyday thing. It ain't eight hours being a criminal, it's 24 hours. 24 uh, 7, Russ, 36 5. Seven, and it, and it, uh, it only costs. Costs money to keep you in jail, costs money for lawyers, because when you're on remand, you can't pay for a lawyer, you have to have legal aid. So it's yeah. so boxing really is a good thing, but I can't understand why the councils and politicians no. 
Basically, all these sort of people, all, all these do-gooders. Yeah. They're not, they're not putting money into boxing gym. If there's a boxing gym in an area, it's like a sanctuary for kids who have got problems yeah. at home. They can go and release their anger. I mean, we yeah. keep going on about it, and we have done for years and that, but nobody seems to be listening, do they? No, they don't. I remember being an oldie, Russ, about three years ago, and I got talking to... I had, I had a boxing T-shirt on, sat around the pool, and I got talking to some counsellor from down south, yeah. And he was, he was, he was, you know, he was, he was pressing me buttons a little bit, asking about the gym and whatnot. And I said, it's good for the kids; it gets them off the streets. His response was, "It's glorified violence." What? Well, what do they think? Glorified are or people getting uh, mugged in the street? That's real violence, isn't it? Of course it is, mate. At least in the boxing. Yeah, yeah. He, he couldn't get his head round it, mate. How I was putting time into a boxing gym and getting very little reward. And his response was glorified violence. I just couldn't get my head around that. It's not good, mate. It's uh, I know people that have had funding for their own gyms and that, but then they can throw you a few quid here, nine, nine or ten thousand pound once every yeah. ten years. So what's that work out? Twenty pound a week over ten years. Yeah, it's it's it doesn't do anything, does it? It don't even buy you one glove, does it? No, 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 two no. pair, two pair of hand wraps, doesn't it? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah, year, maybe, isn't it? Is that maybe all? Maybe a gum, maybe yeah. a gum field. Yeah, and I know that uh, there's a lot of money going into rugby and football clubs and that, but there's no for boxing, and I have a problem with that. It's a shame, mate. It's a shame. But how I look at it, Stuart, is I think the people who are in charge of it have to look at themselves and did they apply? And if they applied, would the money be shared out correctly and things like that? And boxing's got such a Bad Hollywood reputation, sort of thing, and it's exactly. scenes and that. And when these yeah. certain people are in charge of funding, they see they see certain scorecards, and then they see yeah. fights, and then they see edit border control. We're not saying Robert Smith's corrupt or anything, but when he comes out and he takes criticism and he says, "Oh, it's just people, on social media, they, they, their opinion don't matter to us." When they're abusing the situation like that, yeah, they get funding. This is why I've been calling for ages for it to be ripped up and started again from the beginning with government involved and all yeah. sorts of people, MPs and lot. It wants starting again, so it's fair. Yeah, I mean, Joshua's piled some money into it, hasn't he? Yeah. So he's get, at least he's given something. At least he's given something back. Yeah, he's given something back. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? At least he can. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, mate. But what stars have you got in your gym then? There's some good, there's some good kids, isn't there? There's one particular kid, isn't there, that I know you want to tell me about. Yeah, Max, he's doing really well. He was like, uh, he won the regions last last year. He got to the national quarterfinals. But, What's uh, his name? Max Boys. Max Boys, yeah. Yeah, my nephew's doing really well. Lewis Curry, he's doing all right. He's had four, now won three. Yeah. So it's just, a, it's just, we was booming, Russ. We was booming. Yeah. We was getting out on shows and then all of a sudden, this happens and we're back to square one again. It's like banging your head against the wall. So, yeah. have you yeah, I've got some good... Go on, Go on. I was going to say, have you managed to keep your sanity and all this while you... Is your gym not open then now? No, it's shut now, mate. Obviously, national lockdown now. Yeah. We, we was open under restrictions, but no pads, no sparring. And lads are just... I've, I've gone from having 25, 26 kids in the gym on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday to eight and nine just turning up because they're just losing interest, Russ. Yeah, yeah, they, you know they, I mean? they'll all be on their iPads, won't they, soon, like my kids? That's it, Xboxed up and PS5s or what have you, you know what I mean? So it's a shame, it's a shame, but it, I, I think it'll go full circle, Russ, I think we'll be back to normal. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think is going to happen with ABAs and that this year then? Because I, I they've, can... they've got to have them, haven't they, because it's a roll of honour, in it, Russ? They've got to have that, they've still got to have them. I think they might have them behind closed doors, to be fair. Yeah. But then who's paying for that, Russ? Who's paying for, who's funding that? Well, we, I don't know. Somebody's going to have to fund it. But my argument is this. Do you know the EIS here up at Sheffield? They have all sorts of Olympic sports and that, don't they? The yeah, yeah. I've been there, Russ. Boxing. I've been over. Yeah, yeah. You're boxing, sprinting, running, hurdling, javelin, yeah. all that kind of carry on. Decathlon. Is it decathlon or heptathlon? Whatever. But yeah. they, that's lottery funder, but it doesn't trickle down to what you no. lads are doing, does it? Why no. is that? Why is that? Don't know, mate. And that's that. I don't know if I'm saying the right thing here, but that's turned into more of a pro gym, hasn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Well, well we, everybody knows it has, don't they? 
Yeah, it's, there's a lot of pros saying that. I am. So don't say out any that's going to get you in any trouble, but leave it to me to say, because I'm the voice. I will say <laughs> it. What's yeah. going on up there is nothing short of a scandalous, scandalous where you've got a conveyor belt or going to match room and you've yeah. got people like Joshua, Dylan White, people like that. Signing people up there and managing them because they're in their ears, aren't they? That's it, mate. That's what, it. it what, nobody don't want, what nobody don't want goes to everybody else, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it, mate. That's it. I've been at amateur boxing shows, mate. I've been warming kids up on the pads, you know, just before they have a bout. Yeah. Yeah, get yourself ready. I'm just going to the toilet. I've come back. Someone's in the rear, mate, trying to get them to go to their gym. Yeah. It happens. It happens. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Lads have, lads have come to my gym from other gyms, but I always make that phone call to the coach and say, look, so-and-so's come into mine. He's left yours. You know, I don't just do it Snyder. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a big believer of poaching kids, Russ. You know, uh, not at amateur level. No, definitely not, mate. If they want to join my gym, they join my gym. If they don't, they don't. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Whereabouts is your gym situated, Stuart? It's just on the outskirts of Eccles, mate. Just outside Salford, just off the M60. Yeah. So what, what it's evening? not. It's, on, sorry. What evenings? Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Yeah. Sunday mornings we train, yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday morning, and what times are them? Are them? Uh, half six, Monday, Wednesday, Friday till eight o'clock, or if we've got an open sparring night, and we'll, we'll go past eight o'clock until the last person sparred, you know what I mean? I don't put a time limit on it. But there's not just boxing in our gym, Russ. We've got an Olympic weightlifting team in there. Yeah. And uh, an Olympic wrestling team in there as well. So it's quite a big gym. It's pretty spacious. Yeah, and what about Sundays? What time is it open then? Sundays we're in there 10 till 12. Sundays is just like uh, we'll do a bit of sparring and some pads. Just yeah. If I've got a kid boxing on a Friday, I'll spend a bit more time with him on the Sunday mornings, you know, just going through a few things on the pads and whatnot, the body belt, a bit of, bit of strategy stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. It gives you it gives you an interest. Do you do anything else outside of boxing then, Stu? Uh, just working, mate, scaffolding, walking or walking my dog. Or walking your dog. Walking my oh, dog, yeah. Oh, then you and your dog and a bit of scaffolding and that's about it. you can get back in gym, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, mate. That's it. And how long has like it been if... open, your gym? Uh, what, how long has it Barton been going? Yeah. 1952, I think it was founded. It Russ. Have been in days at Quality Street, wasn't it? <laughs> Quality probably, Street. Probably, yeah, probably. Before my time, mate. Anyway, yeah. we've still got a lot of old boys in there, to be fair, that have been in there since day yeah. one. Because the we've got a committee as well, you see, Russ. So yeah. it's uh, everything's everything's above board, everything's A1. What happened to Brian Hughes? Is he still involved in boxing? I uh, don't think he is now. I think Pat and, uh, I think Pat and Tommy have took over the gym. Mm. Pat Barrett and Tommy McDonough, I think they're running the show there now at Collierst. Yeah, well, I've, I've uh, said that Pat... Barrett should be trainer at here for pros for, for Britain. Definitely, mate. What do you think? Hundred percent. You think Pat's one of them that's gone on that radar because he's not he don't he's not what big on doing interviews with Coogan every day. No, he doesn't, mate. And when when, and when he does do an interview, it's uh, it, it's for the right reason, isn't it? One yeah. of his lads has won, or you know. Yeah, he's yeah. Not ain't got time to be hanging out at the back of them all day, has he? No. No, but, uh, he, he, I, I feel that what he's done with them two kids, uh, Zelfer, who, who had a, a did he have a split loss and he brought him back and that, and he and yeah, he lost to that Ronnie Clark, didn't he? Yeah, and then Lyndon, he's done. Lyndon's well. done. Yeah, yeah, that was a good fight. Yeah, that, that was. Good. It was close. It was closer than it than the, the scorecards, Russ. I think. Yeah. Even yeah. though it was a split decision. Yeah, yeah. Rounds yeah. were spaced out on the decisions, weren't they? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Yard thought he won it as well, didn't he? Yeah. Well, Yard what favourite? Yeah, he was. And he, was. he got beat by a jab, basically, didn't he? I was just about to say that, Russ. He, uh, the best punch in boxing won that fight. The most un under the most underrated punch. Yeah, hundred percent, and it's yeah, hardly yeah. ever used. Did you ever watch Andre Ward fight? He, he prefers that jab to belly button, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He yeah, does against not... Carl Frock. Yeah, yeah. He kept he kept doing that all night. And then here's that... a question. For, here's a question for you, Russ. Well, Who's your top three trainers in Britain at the moment, pro wise? Uh, well, if if you mean for 
uh, if you mean her accomplishments, we could be here all day arguing. But as we go, no, just, this year, just over just over the last year, Pat Barrett in, in in this year, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'd like to put Mark Tibbs in because he's a pal, but he hasn't been active this year, has he? Obviously, not not, re not really. Uh, probably Dominic Ingle. You'd have to put him in, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go on then. There. What about Jamie Moore? Jamie Moore or Tony Sims, probably one of them two, I have to say. Yes, yes. That's my point for this year. If I've missed anybody out, it's a subjective answer on, put on the spot. But Pat Barrett wins wins it outright, trainer at year for me. Whether yeah, he'll he get does. it or not, I don't know, because it's a bit political, isn't it? Yeah. But Pat yeah. won't Joe be Gallagher will tight, will he? <laughs> Joe Gallagher will probably get it. Joe Gallagher's uh, shortlisted for WBC award this year, isn't he? In top six. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, is uh, it? Yes, yeah, so there's six trainers shortlisted for WBC at year, and Joe's got it. So right. Right. I don't That's know who's right. going to win it. I don't know who's won it, but I'd like to think that Pat Barrett would be in mix this year. Well, well, he'd be a favourite, my favourite, anyway. Yeah, definitely, definitely. When you, when you, have yeah. a, when you bring Sonny back, I think that's good. What he's done with Zelfa, and he's done great. Yeah. He's done great with Lyndon. It's in the blood as well, there, because he's his nephew, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're gonna. He's and gonna. Pat, Pat was a good fighter in his own way as well. Well, I remember him icing somebody. He put the kid to sleep. Do you remember it? Yeah, Tony Willis. I used to work with him scaffolding. Yeah, he put somebody else to sleep as well. I think you know you were a big title fight, didn't he? Yeah, in Italy. Yeah, yeah. In Italy, right, yeah. yeah. Robin Reed went over to Italy and chopped somebody down for world title, didn't he? With Pat Inc. Yeah. yeah, he beat uh, he beat Galvano. Nard yellow. What was it, Nard yellow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nadiella with Brian Hughes and Pat in corner. That's right. Oh, well, Pat right. can say he's been there and done it, can't he? Really? Yeah, of course he can. Yeah, got a lot of respect for Pat, mate. I see him every now and again on the amateur shows. And uh, yeah, good fella, mate. Good, good fella, mate. one of the best. I'd like to see him get it because I think it'd be good for his gym, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Billy Joel Saunders, then. What do you think of him? Where's his next move? Uh. Well, I'd like to see him fight twice this year at least instead of once a year. Yeah, he's uh, he keeps blowing up in weight though, doesn't he, Russ? Yeah, yeah, that's no good, that is it. No, no, no. You see what happened with Ricky Atom when he was doing that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Good. It catches up yeah. with you, doesn't it, Stuart? Yeah, do you not reckon uh, if Ricky Atom didn't blow up that much, he might have beat the likes of Mayweather and Pacquiao, eh? Uh, I think he'd have had a better chance, wouldn't he? I don't think he'd have beat Mayweather. But he'd have had a better chance against Pacquiao. He looked dead when he fought Pacquiao at the weight. Yeah, well, I've seen a few things there. I think uh, he normally had a 12-week camp, and I think he had a 16-week camp for that, and I think he might have peaked a bit too early. Yeah, and when he came down, because he was coming down from 147, wanted to 140. That's right, yeah. He might have got comfortable at 147, and that extra seven pound yeah. did him. I think that's why he had a long camp. Yeah, you see, that's what I do with the kids in the gym. I'd, I'd rather let them move up a weight than keep them struggling and moving yeah. them down. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You, plus, with these young kids, 14, 15, if you're making them sweat buckets of water out every session, you, you're stunting them, aren't you? Yeah. What do you think about these YouTubers that are muscling in on boxing? Oh, fucking hell, mate. I'm 43. I might as well get in there again. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Logan Paul against Norton 2 against uh, Mayweather, 50 and 0. Oh, that's a joke. joke. That is an absolute joke, mate, honestly. How, how can Billy Joel Sanders be on the undercard of two YouTubers? Oh, what's all that about? An Olympian, two-weight world champion on undercard. You know, disgrace, mate. I if I were Billy Joel, I wouldn't have even boxed on it. No. Do you know what I mean? That's just, uh, that's just Eddie Hearn fucking creaming it again. Well, this this is the way the sport's going, isn't it? It's money driven. Well, why don't he make why don't he make a comeback? He had four bouts, didn't he, Russ? What three by way of? Three by way of. <laughs> <laughs> under Billy the neck Ricky of the ABC. He's under Billy the neck of Billy Ricky ABC box far, didn't it? That's what he says. Where's, there's no sparring footage, no no medical card. Yeah, look at this. Got twenty five medical cards here, Russ. I know. Yeah, and they're all logged on a computer, aren't they? Of course, yeah, it's on the vault, mate, England boxing, yeah. So, why has no one come forward to back that claim up? Why hasn't Jim McDonald come forward to say that he went trainer on night, like Eddie said? <laughs> Probably paid him off, Ross. 
<laughs> what I want to know is who worked referee on the night? Why ain't he selling his story to the son? I refereed an Eddie Hearn bout and with these opponents, these four opponents, three of them yeah. got iced. Why aren't they coming out in Day of the Mercy? <laughs> I got iced oh. by Eddie Hearn. Fucking hell, it's pathetic. They the story, mate. couldn't they? Yeah, they could do. Yeah, they could uh, do. It's just a bit of banter, but we like to pull people up at Porky's Club. When they come out with outlandish statements like that, you know, you've got to pull them, haven't you? Yeah, you have, mate. You have. You can't let that slide. But, uh, oh. What's on the agenda for, for the rest of today for you, Stuart? Uh, I'll finish this with you, Ross, in a couple of minutes, and then uh, United are on Hartley later in the FA Cup, so I think I'll watch that. Who they got? And, uh, Watford. Watford in the FA Cup. Well, I hope they do better Watford. than the other night against City. Fucking hell, so's Gar, mate. You can't even get past these semi finals. Yeah. He's turned us around. I think you'll be a Neely man. Yeah. Well, we've been spoiled, haven't we, for 20 odd years with Alex Ferguson. So, you know, can't have everything, can we? You you had Fergie time long enough, didn't you? We did, mate. We did. (laughs) 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 did. Referee too frightened to blow whistles, Stuart. That's it, mate. That's it. Anyway, what's up, Gar? What's happening with the amateur scene over in Yorkshire? Have you got any good yes. kids over there? Well, according to Mick Whale, you know Mick Whale, don't you? Was got a gym at Barnsley. The, the, I don't, I don't know him personally, no. But well, Josh, Josh and Mick run the gym. Uh, well, Josh, he's head trainer there. Um, there's no, they yeah. haven't got nothing lined up. They had it. Is it England amateur boxing? They didn't know for a while now, is there? No, nah, I boxed over in Barnsley about 15, 16 years ago in the on the unlicensed scene. Yeah. Uh, Fucking hell, Max for a working man's club. Max for working, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell, that were rough that night. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. the kid called a local lad called Richard Schofield. He was a roofer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I boxed him. I beat him on a split, and the fuck, I thought I was gonna get killed. <laughs> 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 yeah, we got out of there pretty quick. Did you? Yeah, pretty That's quick, mate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Every time I've been over to Yorkshire, though, with a lad, you know, sparring at other gyms and that, mainly in Sheffield, we, we always get looked after. They're a good bunch of guys, mate. You go to Glen Road's gym much? Not been to Glen Road's. I've been to the, um, what's the one in Sheffield, just off the uh, Snake Pass. Fucking hell. Can't remember the name of it. We've been there a couple of times. But, yeah, so. Good man, good man. Yeah. All right then. Well, listen. Thanks for coming on, Stuart. Let's give, Not a problem, Ross. Give your gym a plug again. It's Barton ABC Salford, isn't it? That's the one, Ross. Yeah. That um, Manchester or Greater Manchester? Yeah, Manchester. Yeah. Manchester. So, if anybody wants to, if you're in Manchester area and you want to take boxing up, we 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 or take your lad down. Stuart Curry is the man to see. He's going places, aren't you, Stuart? I certainly am. Or I hope I am. Anyway, I'll take his dog out for a walk now. Yeah, the wife's out with her at the minute. Hey, what dog is that? Told her not to mive him if it's half an hour. Neither. <laughs> My mate Frank comes out with that word a lot. Mive, he's from your way. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Thanks a lot, anyway, Russ. No we'll problem. Just Take care, Stuart. All the best. Thank you, mate. See yeah. you soon, pal. Right. Ciao, mate. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.